Hello there, welcome to the Information System Analysis and Design course and in this tutorial we are going to discuss the significance of total float and free float on conducting the critical path analysis using the precedence diagram method. A tutorial that the umbra, total float and free float it are the significance of impact critical path analysis In the previous tutorial we have conducted the critical path analysis depending on this project schedule and we have built this network diagram we have conducted the forward and backward passes and we have calculated the corresponding values of early start time early finish time late start time and late finish time for each activity then we have also calculated the values of total float and free float for each activity and from that we have figured out that the critical path for this project schedule will be N to N, N to P, and P to N. And the project duration is going to be 7 years. Now, let's see what does the total float actually mean and what is the significance of total float regarding each activity. So, at first, let us recall the definition of total float. Total float or total slack is the amount of time by which an activity can be delayed without affecting the end date of the project. And we calculate total float or total slack by this rules. So total float by total slack is the amount of time. J poly one time at activity to the end date. Ahole project to the end date by project to the duration. Shita rupo koma kona koma ampar ba impact hold on. Alright. Ekhane project activity jono total float calculate kora hoye chhe. Critical path er project activity gulo achhe. We all know that the shows activity critical path er chhe. Tadar total float er value zero. Or that the shows activity ke ami kono amount of time delay kora the parbo na. Now let's see. Amra jodi critical path er avostito jekon ekta activity ke jodi ekta certain amount of time delay kori, ta hone shetar impact ta project duration er upor kibabe pore. Let's say amader ekhane je n activity achhe. Ita ekta critical activity jodi total float zero. But let's say ita ke amra dui din delay kore. आह इटा ड्यूरेशन छोए दिन आच्छे ये टोटल ड्यूरेशन टके अम्रा आठ दिन नहीं दिया। सो इटा रखूँ जी इंपैक्ट टा होता है शेटा होता है एन एट आर्ली फिनिश टाइम थर्टीन थे के चेंज हुए फिफ्टीन हो जाएगा जस्ट लाइक दिस। एन एट आर्ली फिनिश टाइम पी एर आर्ली स्टार्ट टाइम हो जाएगा you can give us an answer 8, so 15 plus 8, it will be 23, just like this. Then, peer early finish time, even keyword early finish time, a bit term of the highest is 23, so RL early start time will change to 23 from 21. Even energy impact, as it would say, RL early finish time, again 27, so I can't wait again, 29. So, this is the impact. Our project duration took into change very much because our 29th of a zero to be of delay and the project duration took over in duration choy take a art for our age project duration zero to the seven units now the project duration has become 29 minutes so project critical path is activity below at say or the other total for zero that they take on amount of time delay for other than I'm a jay polyman time delay for you take she amount of time I'm a project duration come this is a so this is the significance of total float on a project schedule. Now let's see, this shows the activity total float is value uh, greater than zero, or that this shows activity non-critical activity. Other case, if I have total float amount of polyman delay, it will have no effect project duration of the whole body. Let's go back to the previous state. Now the activity O, the duration is seven days, and the total float of say two. Now I have number eight. Activity duration will be seven days. Take a change code nine days in AJ or the total float amount of time to the middle code. Let's see it are going to affect project total duration to the report. So let's change the duration of activity O from seven to nine days. So the early finish time of O becomes 16. I can over early finish time the QA early start time is going to be so QA early start time change way where they are 16. Then, give it early finish time, 19th of it, change for the 21. Alright. Now, I can have that say, the P above Q, a bit activity early finish time is 21. I can have same way, so, check on after 21, RA early start time is a catch code. So, 
the early start time of R doesn't get changed here and so the project duration remains 27 or we can say that the project duration remains unchanged. So this is the impact of total float. At an increased amount of time, at a non-critical activity, we can delay it. If we delay it, we can delay it. Impact project duration will be four days. Now, if we have total float value of two, so we have highest two days delay it. If we have three days delay it, then the duration will be ten days. O at early finish time will be seventeen. Q at early start time will be seventeen, and so Q at early finish time will be twenty-two. Then 21 and 22 and 1 can ask to 22. So R early start time is 22 among R early finish time is 28. So project duration is at the pitch. So non critical activity will be able to the parbo, but the amount of the coconut total float is exit. So this is the overall impact of total float on this critical path analysis. Now let's see the significance of free float or free slack on critical path analysis and let's recap the definition of free float. Free float or free slack is the amount of time a task can be delayed without affecting the early start time of any succeeding tasks. And we calculate the free float or free slack using this rules. So free float or free slack is the amount of time jeta ekta task er jonno jodi ami delay korai tahole sei task er succeeding jodi activity ache tader early start time er upor kono dhoroner kono impact porbe na so free float the free slack er relation ta hocche je kono ekta activity succeeding activity early start time right. so now let's see the impact of free float suppose activity o eta free float ache 0 so we should not delay any amount of time to delay query the whole keyword early start time to change with it. Now let's see how to the amount of okay to the total for two and that will be two days delay query or the duration to be seven days to be changed by nine days away. Okay? So over early finish time change way that way to the take a show of it. Even it had effect for the keyword early start time. Okay? So you to over early finish time 16. So, Q at early start time on 40 to be changed with 16 days ago. Jodi eta kuno effect on our final project duration of the report will be enough. But, O, do we din delay korar karone, Q at early start time ta is here. So, this is the impact of free float. Now, let's see the impact or significance of free float in terms of the activity Q. So, let's go back to the previous stage. Now, I'm not going to say that QR free float is 2. Or that, I'm not going to 2 days delay korai total duration. So, we have to do early start time report. We have to do effect. And this is the boundary of the highest 2 days I'm going to do. Now, let's see. I'm not going to do 2 days delay korai. So, we have to do early start time report. Porekina. So, if we delay Q by 2 days, the duration becomes 7 days. And so the early finish time of Q becomes 21. Year early finish time of 21, Q early finish time 21. So the early start time of R would stay unchanged. Just like this. So Q duration, two days barrier the work are two days delay or our R J activity at early start time reported so this is the impact of free float in terms of this scenario ebong ekhane kintu free float ebong total float er relation ta khub bhalo moto fote hoyeche free float er value total float er value soman hobe ba tar theke choto hobe kono bhabei total float ke exit korte parbe na so amra jodi ekhane free float er value ta 3 rakhtam then etar early start time ke to effect korttoi even project duration ta ko effect korte how আমরা যদি এটা ডিউরেশনটা 7 এর জায়গায় 8 করে দেই অর্থাৎ আমরা যদি 3 ডেজ ডিলে করাই ইন প্লেস অফ 2 ডেজ দেন দিস ভ্যালু বিকামস 22 পি এর আর্লি ফিনিশ টাইম 21 এবং কিউ এর আর্লি ফিনিশ টাইম 22 থাকলে এখানে আর এর আর্লি স্টার্ট টাইমটা হবে 22 কারণ আমরা অলওয়েজ ম্যাক্সিমাম তো নিয়ে থাকি ফরওয়ার্ড পাসের ক্ষেত্রে দেন এটার ইমপ্যাক্টটা পড়বে প্রজেক্ট ডিউরেশনের উপর হাউ 22 এর সাথে আমরা যখন সিক্স যোগ করব তখন আর এর আর্লি ফিনিশ টাইম পাবো দ্যাট উইল বি 28 and thus the project duration becomes 28. So, and then can put delay very much. So, free floater value ta obviously total floater value ta ke shoto but ta shoman habe kohonoi total floater value ke exit put the power So, this is the overall impact of 
free float in terms of critical path analysis. And I hope you have understood the significance or impact of total float and free float on critical path analysis using the precipice diagram methods. If you have any queries, kindly provide them in the comment section of this video. Thank you.